Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. T minus one hour and nine minutes or one minute and nine seconds till the vlog starts. Just wait patiently. It's not counting down. It's my second channel, daily vlog channel. It's the Tim Tracker. Hey. You know what that clock's for right there? The countdown clock? Yeah. The historic countdown clock. But why isn't it moving? But I, well, it's it's retired now. Did I do, it's the intro, did I do the intro? You did that. You never said the daily woo. Perfect. Yeah. I got them sparkly feet. These are, these are uh, like the next generation after solar cells. So these things are creating energy by my weight being put onto them. I think maybe Tim broke a rule. They're now, they're now putting a fence around it. No more dancing. No more dancing. Da, 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 da. Are these mine? Oh, these are mine. Okay, grab yours. Oh, these are fancy. They are. This is the Mercury Atlas rocket, and at the top of it is the Sigma 7. And according to this, for over nine hours, Wally Shira more than doubled the distance traveled by all the previous US astronaut missions. Whoa, what's going on in here? The countdown. Oh, seven, six. What's happening? This is the launch area, the mission control. There it goes. The Trailblazers, 1962, this equipment was all actually used. And check out this ashtray. I don't smoke, but if I did, I would probably light one up in this situation because I'm sure it was very stressful. Not only is this a NASA logo, but this actually used to hang on property starting in 19... 59, they created this animation on top of the real space unit showing that he is in trouble there. His cord is getting all tangled up. This is the opposite side. This is the Gemini 9A. That animation was on the other side looking through the window. And if you look on the back end, you'll see some burn marks. That is because it got up to a scorching 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit here in the Astronauts Hall of Fame section. I'm wondering, does every astronaut end up in the Hall of Fame or is there certain criteria to be chosen? And are those from the past all inducted at once or is it a yearly thing like other Hall of Fame type ceremonies? I know that there's some, like there's obviously propane and so the propane shoots out some sort of poison. No, I think the propane, it catches on fire and then the heat, carbon dioxide, attracts, that's what attracts mosquitoes. So they fly, they fly in there. Fly in there so it's then, like a trap. Yeah, it explodes them. Oh, it's a mosquito. It's a trap. Bum, 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 bum. I'm trying to give a little mute music here. Bum, bum. Tim is looking at something over there. There just happens to be this random metal pole protruding up through the ground there. What's the significance of that? It's a space pole. What is it? It's a space pole. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Greetings! He said his name is Robonaut. You want to get a picture with him, Tom? Yeah, I'm going to get a picture with Robonaut. Erected to those who made the ultimate sacrifice for the nation and the space program. I was 11 or 12 years old when the Challenger disaster happened. I was going to Rocky Bayou Christian School in Niceville, Florida. They stopped class, brought the TV in. I remember my teacher crying. It's one of those moments you really never forget. I like how you can see the reflections of the American flag in the glass. They're growing some plants in here. I'm not sure if you can eat those, but it has prompted me to get a little fruit cup with pineapple, cantaloupe, honeydew, watermelon, and berries. Let's 
things gliding on water. Look, it's just teetering on the water itself. Six tons. You got the whole world in your hands. This is the universe. Oh, the whole universe yeah. in your hands. There he comes. <laughs> you just went around the universe. It's true. You completely went around the entire universe. Where'd he go? He's lost in the universe. Oh, there you are. There's one of the launch pads right there. In the past, such missions have been limited by the size and capabilities of existing rockets. The SLS payload carrier is large enough to hold nine school buses. That's the vehicle assembly building. Don't quote me on this, but I think it's the tallest one-story building in the world. And that American flag, the size of a football field. This is an astronaut training suit for Apollo 17. And it says here that each person on the crew had three of these suits. So they had the one they wore plus two backups. Something I never knew before, but in 1968, Charles Schultz gave NASA permission to use Snoopy as their mascot. As a watchdog for flight safety for free. Right there, look at that. This lunar module was gonna be used on Apollo 15, but they never used it because it would not carry the lunar rover. So they just retired it and hung it here. That's a real space helmet made out of polycarbonate, which is another word for plastic. And you would take that and you would insert it on top of the suit, right on top of the old noggin. And here's a view from the water of the vehicle assembly building and some of the launch pads, you can see that one way off on the horizon and another one right over there. Inside this capsule, if you look through this window, check it out. There's three guys in there just hanging out in their spacesuits. And in case you didn't know, NASA rocks. Man, that's pretty cool. How much is this? $11.99. I'm not gonna buy it, but just curious. Pretty neat. This is what they call a zero gravity fridge rover. I guess you wind it up and you just stick it in your ice box. What if you forget about it and you get up for a midnight snack and then all of a sudden you have this like startling toy looking Did at you? You say you put it in your, no, it drives around on your refrigerator. It's no, a magnet. It's... Oh, I thought you put it in the refrigerator. What, did it just drives around in your face? Yeah, I thought it. <laughs> I thought, man, all right, never mind. I'm not buying it. I thought it was something else. Astronaut ice cream. It smells good. That's a. It is Neapolitan. It's a space bag. Look, it's Neapolitan. What, what happened here? How was I not what recording? What happened to your camera? I wasn't recording that whole it's time. It's Neapolitan. Chocolate and vanilla. I'm gonna try it. Am I doing this? Yeah, do it. Here, grab your piece. All right. Let's do it at the same time. I'm gonna grab this gigantic chocolate piece. Okay. Look Let's at the do size this. of this piece. Here we go. You ready? Huge. Count of three. One, two, on three. On, on three. Okay. One, two. Th <laughs> It's so good. I, it tastes like chocolate. I love ice cream. I love Oh my gosh, that's cream. really good. I'm gonna it's have delicious. this piece of strawberry now. Strawberry? Mm. What do you think? Strawberry? No, I want, I want vanilla now. It's actually really good. That's delicious. Oh my gosh, this is tasty. Wow. Like I said, this was one of my childhood favorites. I wanna eat this all the time. This says that you can land like a shuttle and basically it's just a slide. I think I'm gonna do this. I think I'm gonna do the slide and learn how to land like a shuttle. You have to take your shoes off. Whoa, whoa we gotta go, I'm sliding, I'm sliding. Go, 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 go! That was actually Who won? Who won? You did, because you cheated. Actually, the more I think of it, we need a rematch, we need to do it again. I demand. Because it was too close. A rematch. It says you must be in good health, do not, what? 
What constitutes good health exactly? You got your shoes in hand. Shoes in hand. I got my shoes in hand. You can't. We doing a count of three? Okay. One, two, punchy. Oh no! No! I just got trackered. I just totally got trackered. Well, we did it, Tim. Adam, we have to get to the shuttle. <laughs> Look at my nose. <laughs> my experience here at the Kennedy Space Center has come to an end. Why is your microphone on your eye? Because my nose is blocking the You know what? Me, hold on, hold on. Let me try this. Oh, that's more comfortable. That's a lot more comfortable. Learned a lot today. Got you cheated on the slide. I did, and I'm not ashamed of it. Yes, you are. Admit it. This is I'm, awkward. I am ashamed. This is. Are we, we're not even supposed to be wearing this. Does this make it less awkward? No, it's still awkward. You know what? Hold on a second. What do you think I look like? All right, I'm gonna do this, and then I'll pull these down. Here we oh, go. Oh, that makes you look way cooler. <laughs> oh, you found the normal size helmet. <laughs> it doesn't stay down though. Are there, are there, Wait, does this? What happens if you press these buttons? Does it nothing. like talk like Darth Vader? No. Here, does, does it talk like Darth Vader? Go along with it. Look, I am your father. This guy has made a spacecraft out of a cardboard box. I like that. By the way, you know that all the Star Wars nerds, including me, are going to criticize you because Vader never said, "Luke, I am your father." He, he said, says, "I'm your father." No, he says, "No." I am your father. I don't know why he didn't say it like Yoda. I'm imitating it like Yoda. I only know one quote from Star Wars. What is it? Look at these little things. They're like just wiggling back and forth. I guess gravity just propels it back and forth. You got the shuttle just tick tocking away. And I also learned something today. This logo is called the meatball, and this logo is called the worm. Nine. Night has fallen. I have made the hour and a half trek back from Titusville to St. Cloud. It was a good day. See you guys tomorrow. Vlog over.